Hey fam, welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is JP. I'm your homegirl, you just don't know it yet. And if you're returning, welcome back. Today is Sunday, July, nope, February the 5th. Happy Sunday. <laughs> and your girl is on her way inside of Five Below. Thank you, baby. With the plywood door. Looking for the black history stuff. I know I told y'all that I wasn't going to try to look for it anymore but here I am the collection has me in a chokehold and I'm trying to find it so let's see if I can find it maybe I need to ask somebody oh no this is it is this it black history month this is it y'all Even though neither one of these shirts are the ones that I was specifically looking for, um, there's something and I'm definitely gonna take them. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start going to other five belows that are outside of my area to see if I can find the ones that I'm looking for. But I am satisfied with these, so I'm gonna look around a little bit more and I'll see you guys when I get in the car. see your girl has changed her clothes it is currently 4 25 and i'm in my amazon unboxing area it's funny because as i go back to look at these videos when i'm editing i realize that i stand in specific spots of my house to do certain things and this is my amazon <laughs> this is my amazon unboxing and your girl has some amazon items i'm also going to show you guys what we picked up from five and below super excited about that because y'all know the thirst vibes have been very real and then i also received my uggs yesterday or day before yesterday um and i wanted to show you guys those but we'll go ahead and start with the amazon items so first things first you guys know that i am sorry about the bag opening it up you guys know that i am on a mission to black out everything for the most part in my kitchen um so i have been on the hunt for the target dish soap and hand soap dispensers i believe they're black or they're clear no they're black with the white writing on it but every time i go to target they're sold out and understandably so because one they're cute and two they're super cheap at target um so i got impatient and decided to order some off of amazon so this is the box that the set that i got came in i believe these bottles are 16 ounces so they come packaged like this when you open up the box so we appreciate that well these are so cute y'all okay so this is the first dispenser this one is for the dishes 
I'm trying to see, it didn't come with any information, but I will have it on the screen on either side of me. And this is the hand soap dispenser. Very, very cute. These are ceramic, I wanna say. They don't feel like glass. These are ceramic containers, so I feel like they're going to last a long time. Uh, I did forget the price, but again, not to worry, I'll have it on the screen, but I'm super excited that I have this. And the next item that we got, from Amazon is to pair with those uh, dispensers. And that is these very cute, um, I don't wanna call them, oh, plastic, no, they're rubber. Sorry, y'all. These cute little rubber mats that the dispensers will go on like so. So that way in the event there's any drippage from the pump, it'll end up here on this little rubber mat instead of on my granite countertops. This did come in a set of two. Sorry, I didn't show y'all before I bust it down, but this is the second one. I'll only need one and I'll just store the second one underneath the cabinet. And I'll show you guys what it looks like next to my sink, but pretty much this was the idea when I purchased it. And then I'll also have enough room, looks like I'll have enough room on the side to store like one of those uh, Brillo pads or something like that for me to clean my dishes. I'll show you guys the items that I got from Five In Below. Here is the bag. I was able to find two shirts. I got them in two different sizes. So this is the size medium shirt and it says I am Black History very very cute of course this shirt was five dollars again i got it in a size medium so i'm super happy about that set that one to the side and then this one has to be my favorite i wasn't looking for this one at first but i'm glad that i have this one and it is a size large and it says feeling my curls i mean hello come on through somebody i just wish i could have gotten this shirt in my size this is a size large here's the tag that says five dollars and the shirt tag on the inside says large and lastly my Uggs that I recently got came in and I'm super excited about them. I am going to put them up on the screen. I got these Uggs from Nordstrom Rack. They were on sale. These uh, boots are retail for $160 and I got them for $89, which I thought was a really good steal. So when you open up the box, there's the Ugg box inside. So I'm just gonna take the Ugg box out and get rid of this one. Sorry for the noise. This is just the packing slip. Obviously not gonna turn that around because it has my personal information. These are the Women's Mini Bailey Bow Glimmer boots in a size US 8. This is what the outside info looks like. But y'all don't care about that. Y'all wanna see the inside. Hell, I wanna see the inside. Ooh, super cute. Okay, this is, this is the boots, you guys. Sorry, that box almost fell on me. This is the boot, you guys. Really, really cute. Says Uggs on the back. Look at that shimmer and glimmer. Oh, that is so freaking cute, y'all. And y'all know black is my color. So when I saw these and saw that they were on sale, because that's the most important thing, <laughs> aside from them being black, I had to snatch these up. And it has a really cute bow on the back. Let me try to fluff it up and give us some life, honey, because she's been tucked away. Really, really cute. Let me know your comments down below what you think about these boots. And also let me know if you have these boots. Um, and if so, what color do you have them in? And then, of course, it has the, um, the little black fur on the inside. This is what the bottom of the shoe looks like. Really, really cute overall. I do love these boots and can't wait to wear them. Yeah. And I like the fact that these um, don't look anything like the ones that Isaiah got me for my birthday. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, be sure to check out my playlist. I have included my birthday vlog where my son Isaiah purchased me my first pair of Uggs for my birthday. And I, I so appreciated him and loved them so much that I had to double up and get some more Uggs for the Lolo, of course. So let me know. Get on it when I get
Good morning, fam. It is Monday, February the 6th. Happy Monday. <laughs> it is currently 8.07 and your girl is racing, trying to get to work because the traffic was thicky, thick, thick today. Um, there were a lot of stalled vehicles, a lot of wrecks today, and just in, in general, the traffic was very heavy. So your girl is running behind. I wanted to pick you guys up though and say good morning um, and pray that you guys have a fantastic start to your week. <sighs> yep, it's going to be one of them days, but we're going to get through. I do have my energy drink. We are going to have to go out to get some lunch today. So I'll, of course, pick you guys up for that. And I will likely have Chick-fil-A because y'all already know the vibes. I do have my uh, V8 Steady Energy Drink here. I've been loving these, you guys. I've been loving them a lot, honestly. I love the fact that I can drink it room temperature or cold and it's still good. Y'all already know the vibes with Celsius. That thing has got to be ice cold, okay? Borderline frozen in order for it to be good. The borderline frozen is a reach. I'm just being funny. But it does have to be cold. You cannot drink that high or room temperature because baby it's disgusting medicine medicine okay that's 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 the vibe that is giving straight up medicine but i just wanted to tap in with you guys and say good morning i'm gonna finish my commute in to work and i will see you guys once i make it in the office Thank you. I don't know. That lady was kind of giving me weird energy. I don't know. And I feel like she just was nice at the latter part of our encounter because she saw my camera on. <laughs> tip, pro tip. If you want some good customer service, go ahead on and hit that record button. Because they get, get, they get a little bit of act right when they notice that you record. So. I have made it back to my parking spot. I have my food here. Um, sis did not give me a receipt. Um, so let me back it up. Because that's kind of random. So let me back it up. Um, so in effort to reap all of the coin that I can get save all of the coin that I can um, and really just be strategic with how I'm spending my money um, and where I'm spending my money with this upcoming car repair if you want to call it a, a car repair or I don't know we'll just go with car repair for simplicity's sake and um, girls trip I joined fetch shout out to my girl simply Melva hey girl hey I did use her um her uh referral code i'll be sure to drop it down below and also be sure to check out her channel sis be talking about fetch okay and i was just like you know what while i was at work today i was like you know what we're gonna go ahead on and join fetch um, i've really been contemplating using fetch over the last few days so i've been collecting my receipts not knowing whether or not they would allow me to use old receipts and they did so shout out to fetch for that y'all the real mvp oh, look at that cheese pool uh-uh not that tomato mm -mm. and these white tomatoes too baby i don't do regular vegetables and i don't do foreign looking vegetables like that's enough mm. Mm. But Father God, this is good. Good afternoon, fam. It is currently 5 and 19. The girl is off work. Monday is a wrap. So God be good. Okay, we got two more days in the office this week. Yes, I'm counting down. We're going to get through it one day at a time. Today was really good, even though it was very dry. It was still productive nonetheless. I was able to get everything that I needed to get done for today. I don't have any work lingering over uh, to tomorrow. Everything is done. So to God be the glory for 
for that we are on our way to the crib um i noticed that it's getting lighter no it's getting darker later in the morning i think i'm saying that right anywho child i noticed that they like saving time is right around the corner i mean it's right around the corner and i'm really excited because that means what we can get back to working out outside i've really been missing putting on my baked potato outfit y'all already know the vibes if you're not new here and bopping around my neighborhood like i really really do miss that so um in the next few weeks i'll be sure to get uh two more sweatsuits from five and below because the one that i have left even though i could have sworn i had two but the one that i see that i have left has all sorts of holes in the child so we need to throw it away when we get home before uh we work out because baby it's not even doing and giving what it needed to do again because it got holes in it. i mean all the heat is escaping she's not even really giving good sweat in so we need to get that together so we'll definitely do that in the next coming days um maybe on wednesday i do have an or, or tuesday afternoon just throwing that out there we might go ahead and get that done this week in preparation for what's to come you know what i mean daylight saving time that is um i do have an appointment me and Becky have an appointment to file our taxes we gonna try this thing again a couple vlogs ago y'all saw that we was at H&R Block and we really thought we had everything that we need to do our taxes and we did we were missing a document and praise the Lord the document that they told us we were missing that we needed um, came like two days after we had our initial appointment so this is more like a follow-up if you will because they already have um, all of our other documents uploaded into the system so we just have to provide them with that one get the final numbers hopefully <laughs> prayerfully we don't owe the government okay because these last few years whew, it's been <laughs> it's been looking ghetto okay it's been looking very very ghetto and sketchy I'm, that's where i'm gonna leave it. so hopefully god you know give us a little bit just just a little bit i ain't asking for much god you know just to not owe the government that's it that's that's all i'm looking for so you know y'all y'all keep girl in prayer okay keep me and my family in prayer that we do not owe uncle sam because one thing about it two days for sure he gonna collect okay he he gonna collect on his coin he don't want you to play with it he'll play with churn okay before he give you an opportunity to play with his that's just all i'm gonna say on that but i hope you guys had a fantastic monday if you feel so inclined leave me some comments down below letting me know how your day was and how you're feeling um i also what is up it is currently 7 25 i'm here in my kitchen as you can see i have my cup prepared for my tea because i ain't playing no games with this teamy tea okay we're gonna drink this as early as possible i am a little bit hungry but definitely don't want to be up in nobody's kitchen and i don't want a salad so i'm going to have the number one frozen burrito in america i mean that's what the package that's what the package say child that could be a whole lot okay but i'm going to have some of these el monterey sorry that it's sideways but it is the beef bean and cheese flavor chimichanga eight grams of protein real beef freshly baked tortillas um this is an eight pack I did put two in the, um, I'm just trying to read it, baby, because I really did throw it up in my um, air fryer and did not look at a single direction, okay? Not a one. Yep, didn't do that right. Yep, didn't do it right at all. Hold I'm on. back, y'all, and I'm back, y'all, and I'm biggity back, the back, back, y'all. That ain't how the song go, but that's just what I said. Anywho, I just suggested my air fryer because I definitely threw both of them burritos up in there without reading the directions and i was cooking them way wrong so now we on the right track so husband is in the shower even though i was really hoping to get in the shower after my workout excuse me 
but it is what it is so if you hear any noise that's him being loud and disrespectful don't act like you don't already know um so what the plan is for me is to pour up my tea as a matter of fact let me do that now let me pour up my hot water over my tea and let my tea bag <clears throat> excuse me steep for maybe about 10 or 15 minutes there you go nice and hot so i'll leave that on the countertop and when my burritos are done i'm gonna go ahead and eat and get my eating out of the way that way all i have to do is just worry about bay and zay zay is not here but he will be here shortly i don't know what bay gonna eat if anything child because y'all know he's still on his little eating healthy i won't even say it's a diet he's on his eating healthy er you know kick or whatever so he may not want anything but these burritos should do me just fine i might put a little bit of cheese on top i might i've never had these burritos before so the cheese on the inside may be cool and i might need might not need any on the outside but we'll see and then once i'm done eating and can shower your girl is going to edit i don't have any other plans aside from cooking for the guys if they're hungry i just need to edit so that i can hopefully get up two videos for you guys tomorrow yes i said two back to back uploads in one day we, it's a little ambitious but we're gonna go for it i mean if that doesn't work then i will have back to back videos which will be no issue because y'all have been getting back to back videos from me as of recently and as of the time that i am filming this here vlog y'all have been getting back-to-back -back videos from me so that is the goal and the plan i just wanted to pick you guys up tap in with you check in with you let you know that today's workout was pretty good i did take it easy because my knees are fine but i feel like the excessive running is doing a thing to them and I need to figure out something else to do, maybe get on my elliptical more. But I don't know, y'all. I've been loving the freaking treadmill for the last few months. And I work out five to six days a week. And I know all that running and all this body, yada, 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 and weight that's on my knees is not good for my knees. Like, I'm aware of that. I get that. I get all of that. Which is why I'm trying to be proactive now, which is why I took it easier than I normally would. Because as I was jogging, I felt like a slight discomfort in my knee. Not a pain. I'm not, like, in pain when I walk or anything like that or when I run. But it's a slight discomfort that's not normal. So I want to go ahead and take action. So, baby, when we get out that shower, we're most definitely putting on some muscle rub. Dang, I feel old. It is what it is, though. We don't need the muscle rub. I mean, ain't nobody trying to wake up sore. Anywho, I'll pick you guys up once my burritos are done so that I can try them on camera with you guys. Girl... Now I know somebody lying. So that is not the number one frozen burrito in America. I just am not willing to accept that this is the best. I'm not. As you can see, I didn't touch that second one. If you hear something in the background, that's my husband in the room. Um, I didn't touch the second one. Bear, I just ate the middle of the first one. But girl, that's going in the trash can. Like, this is not this is not good so i'm gonna have to pivot for dinner still don't want to be in the kitchen so it's a it's looking like it's gonna be an adult lunchable kind of situation i mean not really but i'm gonna make it that so i'm going to have this balance breaks from sargento it has ritz crackers and pepper jack and kobe jack cheese little squares this is what it looks like in the back I'm gonna pair this with um, some pieces of turkey breast that I got from the deli a couple days ago, a day or two ago, and I'm gonna have that. And I'm gonna sit down somewhere and shut up, okay? Because like I said, I don't wanna be in the kitchen. It's currently 7.43, time is ticking, and that burrito, quite frankly, pissed me off, so. Egg and cheese croissant combo, please, with the Sprite. Thank you. Okay. Good morning, fam. It is Tuesday, February the 7th. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> and if I sound sick, 
Ugh, that's because I kind of feel like I am getting sick. I don't know what's going on, child. I feel like it's not even allergies at this point. We just might be low key getting a little sick or whatever, but we're going to push through. As you guys saw, I just left Burger King. Um, I wanted to get me something to eat because baby, when I tell you that that little burrito, the half a burrito, piece of burrito that I ate didn't do anything for me whatsoever at all, not even a little bit, mm -mm. and I didn't eat anything after that. I just said, forget it, child, because I figured it just wasn't meant for me to eat. So I didn't. Your girl woke up really hungry. So I got a egg and cheese croissant combo. I ain't even finna cap to y'all, even though this look very pitiful because it only got egg and cheese on it. It is so fresh. Like it's hot, hot. Okay, come on through Burger King with the hot food. everything girl anywho good afternoon you guys i am currently on lunch it is 1 20 i'm scrambling what, what did adanya say earlier in her vlog when i was watching hey girl uh scary i i'm scurrying okay i literally need that on a shirt because i feel like i'm scurrying everywhere i have to go but we're currently scurrying why you may ask because i pulled up to mcdonald's thinking i was gonna get a hot and spicy only to find out that their restaurant is in the same condition as the Chick-fil-A yesterday when I put up to Chick-fil-A thinking I was gonna get a meal from them. So I don't know what's going on um, with the the restaurants in the downtown area. I don't know if they all giving, getting facelifts or what, but chill. I mean, I need them to shoot out an email, a ribbon in the sky, a messenger pigeon, like something. Let the people know something, baby, because I be wasting time. I only got an hour. I only got an hour. Listen, so now we're going to go to Papa's Barbecue. I really wasn't trying to eat Papa's Barbecue. Papa's Barbecue is high as hell. Wasn't trying to spend all that on um, lunch. However, sis got to eat. So I think I'm going to get a barbecue chicken baked potato. My stomach does not feel right. It feels very upset. And I think that it is largely in part to me recently eating um, beef when I haven't been for quite some time. Is this my time? Yeah, this is my time. Uh, when I haven't been for quite some time, so sister's stomach is doing a Y2C, so I really need to <laughs> lay it down, okay? Lay the beef down, that is. So we're gonna try to leave that alone. Uh, I ain't gonna say indefinitely, but for the foreseeable future, because I have been doing pretty good, uh, but I did eat a Mexican pizza, which has beef on it, or or whatever Taco Bell considers beef, okay? Right. Um, and then I turned around and had those few bites of that very not good, okay, uh, beef burrito that I had at the house, you know, the frozen beef burrito. So those were my two meals yesterday and both of them consi consisted of beef or had beef in them and my stomach didn't like that it, it didn't like you yeah. have a good one y'all i really thank god for uh being a fence around my patients because man sis was really struggling at that window like she was really really struggling at that window and i don't know if if she need help or if she need or if she needs skill i just don't know but god be with her be a be a, be a fence around her skill and her experience lord god just build her up because she was really struggling sis. okay i am parked here is my food and i ain't finna hold y'all sorry for the noise 
y'all. These people gave me like a five pound potato. <gasps> y'all, this potato heavy as hell. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat all this. Oh, I'm so excited and it smells so good. And it's hot too. Oh, look at it. I should have told him no child. Y'all know I like my food ball here, but mm -hmm. I was trying to do a little something extra. Let me see. Mm-hmm. Now see, don't let that chicken fool you, okay? It got flavor. It definitely had flavor. Let me back it on up a little bit in my seat so I can have room for this big old potato. Ooh, y'all tell me that don't look good. Tell me. Ooh, you be lying. Ooh, you would be lying. Let me get deep down into the soul of the potato. Hold on. Mmm. Okay. Do I got potato? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon, fam. It is currently 5.23. Y'all know. <laughs> We're very excited, okay? To God be the glory. Today was a really good day. I finished payroll about 95% of the way. I got another wire that I'm waiting on. It's not anything that's that's in my control. Um, it's always that straggler or two channel. Always a straggler or two. So I'm waiting on management uh, management's approval and numbers of how much I need to send. And then I will generate that wire and send it over. But all of the others are done and have been sent to management. So to God be the glory. An update on our tax appointment at H&R Block. Bay was able to find a nearby H&R uh, Block, a different one, aside from the one that we, we've been to twice already. Uh, he was able to find another one, and we were able to get in at 7 o'clock. It's currently 527. Okay. So, when when we go home, we just getting back, okay? And we got to be on our way to H&R Block. It is supposed to rain all evening. I don't know if you can kind of tell, but it looks gloomy. It looks darker in front of me than it does behind me. Behind me, it looks a lot lighter than what I see in front of me. So it's supposed to rain. Unfortunately, it's look, looking like we're going to be in it while we're out at H&R Block. But it's okay because I really want to get this done. It's supposed to rain tomorrow too. So even though I want to bend a block and cut a couple corners, if it's raining too bad, we're not doing none of that. We're staying at home. We staying at home. Good news is, is we're supposed to get another cold front, which by the way, it's currently 74 degrees out here. I told <laughs> 74 degrees. Tomorrow is supposed to be in the 60s. So that means maybe if a good gust of wind or two or ten accumulates in my area, I'm wearing my new Uggs. Compare to see them tomorrow. Might not be in this vlog, but oh y'all gonna see the black Uggs because we only have like a few more days. Maybe about a solid week, week and a half of like cool enough weather to get by with wearing Uggs, you know what I mean? Without looking crazy before the 70s and 80s stays. Right now, the 70s is just peeking in and we haven't had 80s in a while, but the 70s is peeking in. She keep <laughs> sisters <laughs> double dutch, okay? She trying to get up in that rope. I'm trying to wear my Uggs before she fully arrives and gets up in there and starts going up that's all what is up family it is currently 6 13 i have made it to the house i'm waiting on bay to finish getting dressed so that we can head to our h and r block appointment but when i got here i had a package i had a package i had a package okay no we're not gonna start that that's not gonna be a thing and no i'm not going to sit here every time i get a package because I wouldn't have a thunk, that's why. Because I always have stuff coming in. Sis would always be saying. All right, so this is my um, my laptop case cover situation, my Bob. I do have my other laptop here. <laughs> Not my other laptop, child. We ain't got it like that, we only got one. But this is what my laptop is looking like. Yes, we're going to throw it away. Let me remind you, just in case you forgot, you see the gapage there, it's giving ghetto. It's cracked, as you can see right here, cracked right here, cracked up here. So it's time. I've had that case for a little over a year now. 
So this is the new case wrapped up in plastic. So let's dig in and see what we got. I really do hope this fits y'all, I really do. Okay, so put that to the side. These are the little camera thingamabobs so that people don't be spying on you, right? And this is the screen protector. I'll be putting that on. Here are some how-to instructions. Child, you even got your covered if you speak Chinese, okay? Here are a couple of the keyboard covers. So I'll just use the one that fits my keyboard. And I think mine is this one with the escape key, but I'll figure it out, child. Y'all will see it. And this is what the case is looking like. The case name is Blackface. Not sure how I feel about that, especially during Black History Month, but we just gonna, we're gonna roll right on past that, okay? This case is called Blackface. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Black or really clear. I mean, it got a little black tint to the child, but you can see right, right on right through that thing. This is the bottom of the case. It's different. I mean, it's black. You really can't go wrong with black, but this is what it looks like. You see all of the black faces. And no, I did not pick this because of Black History Month. I picked it because it was black and white. So I thought, but really in person, it's giving black and gray vibes and that's okay. So what time is it? 6.17. I'm gonna go ahead and just put the new case on. Why not, right? This is a side profile of my laptop with the case on it. And it fits perfect. And I think I'll wait until we come back to put on the screen protector so that way I can take my time, really wipe down the screen, get it sanitized and put this on properly so that there are no air bubbles. But at least we got the new case on and I'm satisfied with the way that it looks. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of it, but I love it. I think it's really cute. I wish, I wish the gray was white, but it's okay. It's all right. Let me have a 12 piece leg and thigh meal. Original and spicy. Original. And please do try orders. Let me have fries and okra. Okay. And then can I have a large mashed potato? Okay. And let me have uh, a large jalapeno bomber. Okay. Did you want anything else? And that'll be all. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You too. What it do, fam? We're back home. We never made it to H and R Block because when we call them, they said that we can send our documents to them via text message, which is what we're going to do, thus saving us a trip to H and R Block. So we stopped at churches for some dinner. Hold on, y'all. That's better. Y'all had some crust up in y'all eye. So we stopped at churches to get some dinner. So she is about to grub because I'm real hungry. I just wanted to let y'all know what we were doing and why y'all wouldn't see us at H&R Block. I'm about to make me a base plate and I'll holla at y'all in a little bit. What is up you guys, Editing Jen here. As I was completing this video, I realized that I was being rude and ghetto and I didn't close out the vlog. So here I am. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, as always, please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Don't mind that noise in the background, child, cause that's the dryer, cause we over here living real life. And that's just that on that. If you stuck with me for this long and you like what you see, please consider becoming a part of the fam by hitting that subscribe button and the post notification bell so that you never miss another one of my uploads. Hey everybody. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. Bye.